So it's really interesting to be here as a social media guy with a production guy because I can produce, but I don't produce with as nice equipment as you do. And one of the things I'd like to do is what you just did, which is survey your customers and what do you think I do? So what 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 happened when you did that? Um, well, I found that there was a lot of people coming up to me like, oh, do you do weddings? Do you do web design? I actually, do you do weddings? I don't. It's do actually, you do web design? <laughs> I actually got first today by someone at a networking event that I've seen a lot and they know I what networking event were you at uh, I was with the Southern Rhode Island Chamber of Commerce there's a network at noon event it's kind of oh, like nice. speed networking speed dating style um, but it's more of like a did you get lucky yeah I don't know in business I hope so oh uh, good. We'll, we'll find good, out good. lucky in business yeah um, so basically I was like well too many people think I do web design too many people think I do weddings um, I don't do weddings I do commercial photography and video I used to do portrait stuff so if someone said that they someone asked if I did that I didn't you know I wasn't upset because you know I, I'll still offer if someone asks um, and I do real estate and I don't do graphic design anymore so I put out a survey I got a handful of responses and they basically um, said it had three questions it says what do I do and it has check boxes it had weddings uh, commercial photography and video aerial photography and video web design and graphic design and other thankfully no one has said other um, and it says, did you know we do video? And it asks if they've been a client before. So that way I can kind of track how many people think, like how many people um, believe I do certain things. And for the most part, it's been fairly accurate. There have been a handful of people that, says I do, that say I do weddings. And because I have done it in the past, I don't, you know, I'm not too confused by that. Um, and then all of them think I do video, which is great, because I do, obviously. Um, and about two thirds of them have been have not been clients, which is where you think you're getting that misalignment with weddings, right? So like people who've hired me, hopefully know what I do because yeah, they hired me. Um, unless it's you know someone responded who I used to do a wedding with, maybe that's the case. But um, I've actually found that I I'm assuming based on like who liked the post and everything, the people who are getting it wrong are people who are closest friends of mine. Yeah. Rather than customers, which I can guess, like, I guess makes sense because that way like, it, they've known me for longer. They've seen me do weddings. They've seen me do graphic design. They've seen me do all these things, but I don't offer them anymore and they don't, might, they might not know that. Um, but it means I can better tailor what I post on Facebook, what I post on Twitter, what I post on Instagram. Um, and so I can try to correct that behavior so that someone doesn't perception come be, more than behavior perception not, it's yeah it's know, a better the, word. the ultimate business behavior is measured by what did they write the check for and right. what you wrote the invoice for so you're finding yourself doing more aerial photography video or pictures um it's kind of a mix of all three so when it comes to real estate it's mostly aerial and photography um Video is uh, a lot of realtors will, will prefer to save a couple bucks and not you know just put it into a slideshow instead of a whole video, um, but it really depends on the property because um, yeah. you don't need a whole walkthrough for you know the really. You if know, they're taking properties. pictures, do you convert those into videos? Um, slideshow video kind of thing with music. I can, but I would much, I'd rather encourage them to do a whole video. Because mm. saying like, oh, view photos and video on this website, and then having a slideshow is not a video. Yeah. That's yeah. false advertising. Um, if I want to see a slideshow, I would just click really quickly through the pictures. Yeah. So um, I want to view them at my pace. And you know, if they're stills, they're not moving unless they're doing like the Ken Burns slideshow yeah. kind of thing. Like, that's not a video. That's a slideshow. Just because it has, you know, an MP4 or an MOV extension, it does not make it a video. Got it. Um, so I've been trying to encourage that. And if they want to make a slideshow on their own with my photos, go for it. But that's not something that I encourage. Do you do, you do the slow violin music that Ken Burns uses in every documentary as part of it? I try to make it exciting. Yeah. Like, try to do something upbeat. Try to do something that matches the style of the house. Um... Because if it's something like slow and blah, like no, no one's, no one watches that and says, I really want to live in that house. I want to go see it. You want something exciting that gets people excited on a subliminal level. Um, not in like a trying to sell you something subliminal, but like more getting someone pumped for it. Yeah. Where if it's just like slow and classical, like 
they're gonna feel that they're gonna have that same feeling about the property that the song is. Yeah. If that makes sense. It does. It does. So you set mood using music. Exactly. And that's part of the that's a big part of video. And so. we'll talk about that later, I'm sure. But we, it, there's a whole nother 45 second podcast in that one. I yeah. Think. So absolutely. So good. 